Welcome to Kansas State University. I'm Justin Thomason, the cardiologist. Uh, originally from Oklahoma, did my DVM training at Oklahoma State University. So I often tell individuals from Kansas State that I'm a Sooner by birth, Oklahoma Sooners. Uh, cowboy by choice, went to Oklahoma State Cowboys for my DVM but Wildcat, Kansas State Wildcat, by the grace of God. So we consider all of our students here family, and I just appreciate you guys uh, taking the opportunity to explore Kansas State University and the teaching hospital, and um, hope we're able to impress you. I think we have a very good program. At Kansas State, for the cardiology, our students typically do a two-week uh, clinical rotation. It's an elective. Um, we try to get most of the students in on the elective and we really focus on teaching. Big priority for me is teaching and service. So we try to get you um, on the teaching aspect, try to get you used to managing heart failure patients or cardiac patients without the luxury of a cardiologist. And one of the things that I believe is unique for cardiology at Kansas State is that we encourage, make you, uh, do what we call focus scans. So as a student, you come through cardiology and you're gonna be able to put your hand on the probe, the ultrasound machine and the probe, and we do what we call focus training. So the focus F is pericardial effusion, O, looking for outflow tract obstruction or pulmonary hypertension, C, cardiomegaly, heart enlargement. U, left atrial pressure. We call that wildcat up for the U. So up pressure, left atrial pressure, and then the S, systolic function. So once you leave here, not only will you have the background knowledge to manage patients, but you're also gonna have the technical skills to be able to perform this focus scan that I think is gonna be very beneficial when you get out to private practice, or if you decide to choose academia as a career, obviously that's gonna help you in a residency. So, very cool stuff. The other thing that we do is we focus on, uh, focus on the uh, service, and uh, we usually have our clients come back if possible, and they get to watch the exam, so they see how we manage the patients, which I think is a little unique for us. Um, having the clients back to observe. And um, we try to do the ultrasounds, the echocardiograms with the owners present and give them the opportunity to, to see one so they have uh, the knowledge of what's going on with their pet and what we're doing with our therapies. And here's my dog that I adopted. So it was a little dog that came in. It was an Australian Shepherd. Client brought it in had rescued it and the dog had a continuous murmur where there's a murmur that's heard throughout systole and diastole of the cardiac cycle. Sounds like a washing machine. So I had the puppy and we just bought property in Manhattan. I was like, oh good, we got us a new puppy to go with our new house and new property. So I called my wife, I said, we got a new dog. And I said, I named her Maytag because it sounds like a washing machine, the murmur. So, and that murmur is due to what we call a patent ductus arteriosus, which is a congenital heart defect that she was born with, where this little vessel should close after birth, it stays open or patent, and it'll create that washing machine murmur. Um, my wife was like, we will not call that dog Maytag. And so we changed her name to Paisley, but I call her Paisley May. And we put an occluder, so we do surgery, and we can put an occluder that will close off that ductus. So um, it's a neat rotation. I think the clients uh, really enjoy it because they're back and they get to see the, the faculty and the students interact together. We're educating the clients while they're watching the exams and they have a really good idea of what their patient has and they have a good idea of the therapies that we're providing. So. And I think it's very beneficial for students because you get to watch the interaction with the clients, how we interact with clients directly as faculty, 
clinicians. And then again, I think you're gonna leave here with very good, the best knowledge as far as cardiology goes. So when you go private practice, if you choose academia, um, government with military, whatever your career choice is gonna be, having this cardiology background and that focus training is gonna be very great. So if you have questions, you can find my uh, profile on the, on the web page and I have my email address there. You can ask me questions if you have them. And um, yeah, hope you choose Kansas State. And I, again, I just thank you for looking at us and I know there's lots of opportunities and lots of options that you can choose from, but I really believe that Kansas State's gonna be the best at preparing you for practice in veterinary medicine. So with that, I'm gonna say go Cats and thank you.